Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Michael here, Shy City Yacker. We're out on Lake Michigan. It is a uh, overcast, slight drizzle rain going to be happening this morning, uh, but there's almost no wind. So we're taking advantage of it. There's no thunderstorms. So uh, we're out here just because it's light rain. We should be good for, for most of the early morning. My buddy Will's back there behind me. We're just now launching. Uh, we're waiting for him to get ready to go, and then we'll shoot off of here. But the goal today is some coho some lakers some browns uh maybe the trifecta finally we haven't had that yet on the channel uh but let's see if we can pull off the trifecta which is a salmon a trout well technically two trout a brown and a laker um and then of course that silver that we all want springtime tastes so good let's get started with today's adventures dude i oh a ton of lakers right here i should get bit on this ride i swear Better get ahead. let's see let's see let's see Just went over a nice little pot of lake trout in the bottom. Fish on! Fish on! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! There we go. It feels good! Oh. oh boy, we got a big boy on here. We finally hooked up, guys. Right at the mouth of the Chicago Harbor Navy Pier lighthouse right behind me. This is beautiful. We got it on a gold spoon or an orange spoon. He's down there. I'm pretty sure it's a Laker or a Big Brown. I want to say it's a Laker. We will see here in a second. Where is he? He's right below me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It's a, I think it's a steelhead. We're gonna play him out real quick. I don't think it's a Laker, guys. Oh! Oh, he came off! No! No! Ah, <sighs> it was a steelhead. It was a steelhead. He was flopping all over. That was a steelhead. Oh, I'm gonna cry. All right, let me give you an update, guys. We're out in the water. Conditions, overcast. The sun wants to come through. It hasn't come through all the way just yet. Foggy all on shore. We're in the clear out here. We're out on the break wall, outer break wall uh, uh, on Chicago Harbor. We're starting to mark fish finally. It's been a little slow. I hooked up into, I hooked up into a, uh, a beautiful steelhead, man. A really nice size steelhead that got off through the hook on the uh, spoon. And uh, my buddy, Will, is just hooked up. Uh, I'm starting to mark uh, bait balls. In fact, right before I started recording this, the, the water exploded in front of my kayak. I was approaching it, water exploded, and something big busted the surface. And uh, at, at that point, uh, as I went over the spot where the surfacing happened, I saw a bait ball and fish underneath it. So believe that probably was a coho busting the surface. They will bust that surface like a bass. They will come up and smack it like a bass. I experienced that uh, 
myself personally. I, I never knew they would do that, but yeah. So, let's see if we can get something hooked up over here along the break wall. Uh, Will's ring, uh, reeling in his catch right now. I've got two spoons out, lead core three colors. Got the flicker shed uh, crank uh, on the uh, on the board off to my left. Looks like, I think he's got it in the boat. Looks like it. I'm 0 for 1 today, man. That, uh, that steelhead. I thought it was a Laker because I'm, I'm fishing right off the bottom on the spoon. Real tight to the bottom. And uh, that thing picked it up. So I thought it was a Laker, but came up. Saw the, the clear silver with, with the, with the uh, you know, still have a very distinct color with the line, you know, between the silver side and that top color. Uh, so it threw off. But let's see what we can do here. Fish on, fish on, fish on. And I got a rod I was setting out at the same time. All right. uh, there we go. I was just setting out, I was just setting out another, resetting my uh, other line. Smack them up. Feels good. Oh, we got into the lead core. This is not good. Not good. This is not gonna be good. See how we play this. Might be able to. There it is. All right, we got him. We got him over the left core. We're good. We're good. Looks like we got. <laughs> All right, we got a nice brown trout. Smacked it up, real nice brown. All right, that was a little bit of a mess. All right, guys. Camera went all over the place. This guy almost tangled up the leg core, but we got him. Nice little brown. Beautiful brown, we're gonna put it back. Off she goes. All right guys, today's video is a wrap. Surprisingly, it didn't turn out like we thought it was gonna be with the weather conditions, overcast, light, very little wind. We made it out to the Chicago Harbor Gap and uh, we, you know, we just thought it was gonna be a lot more activity and it didn't turn out that way and you know it happens fortunately we ended up getting a nice little brown in the boat we released that one and we lost a beautiful uh, uh steelhead rainbow trout that spit the hook uh, uh, on me 
right I was uh, as I was getting ready to net it. It was right next to the boat. I mean, you guys saw it. it was right there. I saw it. Water clarity is phenomenal. It's beautiful. It's the way it needs to be here. And typically, this is when they bite well. But I don't know. Sometimes it just happens. And so that's how we're going to wrap up today's video. All right. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like. Turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys soon. Hey, if you're looking for all the gear, tackle, items, accessories, and clothing that I'm using to go kayak fishing on Lake Michigan for big salmon and trout, then consider stopping by my Amazon storefront and checking out all the items that I am using on every trip out to put big fish into the kayak. And the best part of all of this is that if you pick up any of these items, it supports me as a content creator at no additional cost to you. So check out that link in the description below and thank you for your support.